Okay, we're continuing our Chazara, right? So we're talking here. Look, you have the text said towards the end of his base. So it established. Again, the flow of the Maimed is that Taira is Etzlai. Taira is David's essential Taina. That's the Nakuda of the first ice. Now, this is all connected to understand this, it's all connected to Shabbos, the very Psukim. And then he said in his base that, that by Martin Taylor was the Etzim Atzim was revealed, not at the Etzim Ba'ir. Nafa became, nonetheless, there is a Seder in the whole Gilui. As we said yesterday, because the whole Kavani is, did it with so Seder, order, structure. So the Kol Doidi, so there's the two in Yonim of the Medalla Galarim, the capital like voice, and the established Kol Doidi means. The higher level of curl, the, the loy ishtama, that has no end, that doesn't change, that's eternal, that's essential, that's the curl of Matan Torah. So, but the Pasuk is saying that this curl is being drawn, it's, it's, it is, it is uh, 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 skipping and jumping. So, what is the Indian? So, first he says that both are with the, are the legs. So, the leg implies the lowest level. Every Yam Shocha is through the higher level descending within its own state to a low level and then then being drawn to the lower plane some detail there that all dargas no matter high no matter how transcendent there is on some if there's a going to be an amshocha a giloy on some subtle level there's the regal of that level because it's all very subtle. Uh, the higher you go, the more the regal level, the Kaycha Gvul is on par with the Kaycha Bligvul. It's just as you go down, Ishtalshalus, that they separate, and the notion of higher and, and, and lower becomes more disparate. But the higher you go, Ishtalshalus, the more it's one Indian. Kaycha Gvul, Kaycha Bligvul, but be it as it may, be it as it may, be it as it is, that's the reality, that's the Nakud, and that's the Kavon of did it because of Dirib Tachtonim, there's the Indian of Regal at all Dargis. So here we're talking, and even by Meshech it says, of his feet will stand on Harzeisin, that's what it says. So he and Amshoch of Regal is Toifanim. There's with two feet or one foot, that's the difference. When you skip, so one foot is still on the ground, there's an Aliyah, a lifting of the body, but not not entirely lifted from the ground, as it were, because one foot remains always on the ground. And when the person jumps, so there, that is, uh, that's with both feet. And he brought it interesting, everything, I don't know if this is brought in Chassidus or not, but in other places, it may, but everything it brings always says that I am Nigla, and it's a mission in all this, who learns all this, it's a mission in all this about what, what considers what makes an oil in order for anything, if there's a mess and there's an oil, anything, anything between becomes tommy. So what's considered an oil, the Mishnah goes to all kinds of scenarios. And one is something which jumps, which uh, medallic in the carpets. And the difference being two feet or one foot. Medallic means it's a creature that's skipping over a tumma or jumping over a tumma. For a moment, it hovers over it and does it trap the tumba or not? The answer is it doesn't. But just the right from the Mishnah is this medalagi makapit is that's what the rai is. One is medalag is one foot, makapit is two feet. Could me see this brings it. I'm just saying that it's one of the hallmarks of the red men and Samachsedek certainly is to bring rice and niggle to everything. So what's the Indian? The Indian Baruchni is is I'm turning the page now. That the Indian of the uh Of of uh, of Mekapitz is as he says in Netak Kol Gufay. So Mekapitz implies that is Nimshech with this whole etzem, the whole etzem is moved, and later he explains that one is Yitzis Mitzrayim and one is Matan The latter is Matan 
So I know he's a gimbal, he starts the whole adichas, makif akarev, makif arochik. One is shaykh to the primi, one is not. The low one is, the high one is not. Benefesh adam, what is it? So, chayichid, the difference being that chayyeh is a connection to kaychas pinimim, and yichid is an inyan atzmi. It's not connected to Kirchus Pnimim, although the Kirchus Pnimim had nothing other than the expression of Yechid. It's still itself not bound to any of the Tziyurim. This is the nature of, of essence. So they, so one is Nirgish, one is felt, the other is not felt as something extraneous. When it's revealed, it's not ex- it felt as something outside. It, it, it's, an ex- it's an experience of the, of the self because the etzim is the self. Again, the paradox of etzim that we mentioned yesterday also. So he illustrates that with a story with Daniel. That the Anoshim, they were with him. So what felt that? That Chaya felt it. That's the muzzle that felt it. So they didn't have the conscious experience, but, they were, but consciousness was affected tremendously. What happened? The blood drains from them and they're in a state of dread. So the makif effects, as he says, very yosha, not not taking everything into its its place. We explained yesterday and, and so on the end of bias. It's not an end of bias, and therefore it's noisel, it's ma, it's mazel, and it has this profound effect uh, on the koyches pinimim. Although the koyches pinimim cannot experience it, it's only a hora of it. But the hora causes, he says, the mesalekas is adamim. It causes them to freeze. They're in a state of dread. And all of the koiches just uh, withdraw, as it were, surrender to this transcendent feel- feeling. Kivutz v'helem. It's an important point that it's at the gili of the makif, it causes a kivutz, means a, uh, a constraint and concealment in all of the koiches. So the whole arich is here. That chachman bina, the same principle works, b'chalal, even in Koychas Pnimium. In Koychas Pnimium, the lower Koyach, the lower faculty cannot begin to function if the higher faculty is in a state of revelation. Chachman Binas and the Chachma experience, you can't, Chachma is the objective seeing of the idea. You can't at the, simultaneously have the Bin analysis. The, the, did I say subjective? Chachma is objective. You can't have the, the subjective bin analysis simultaneously. It has to recede. Like with the and Midas, as long as the, the Moichen, the intellectual appreciation of the subject matter of the person, whatever is dominant, emotions cannot kick in. They can only kick in after the Meitz and after the 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 it, intellect is filtered completely and screened, and only our other via the physical threat uh, throat, which is symbolic of the the passage between intellect and emotion. So that's true. Koyach has premium. How much more so a, a koyach makif like a rotzen? That the koyach has premium cannot operate. That they surrender when the when the koyach makif is revealed, and it causes a kibbutz and a helim. He says, even example, it's in, in, in the person he wants to learn. And, and that's what's going to open him up. But if he's going to hang on to, I really want to learn, he'll never learn anything. The Rotsam will completely uh, eclipse the Seicho. It's got to recede. However, good. So that's the union of Mazlai Yochazi. Maslaya Chazi is that the Kirch Makif experienced and, and the rest of the Kirch Hasprimia, that Matzev becomes Siluk Domim, the blood is removed, the person turns white, the other faculties are not engaged, they're overwhelmed. That's why they turn white, because the Chais is in the blood. And he had a Beprotis looking at the end of his gimbal. Okay, more proteus, it's all three general avodim. 
the moyach and the heart and the liver, which correspond to Nevesh Ruach Neshama, as he explains. So it's not just the level of Nefesh, which is in the blood, not just there, but there's a, a complete, even the emotion, even the, 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 the Ruach Shebelev, and even this, the Neshama, which is in Mayach. So the time when the Rotzen is revealed, all of them are not just the lower ones, but even the higher faculties become um, overwhelmed. The fact is that the chai is the blood gives is animates all of them. He says well, by time of tainus, when the blood it doesn't have a lot, the blood isn't uh, uh, rejuvenated and he can't learn properly. So, so it's the whole it, bottom line is all kaiches premium are affected. This is all makif akadev, makif arochek. So makif arochek is the paradox. It's not nirgish, but has the most transformative effect. Why? Because it's the, it comes from within. Again, really, that's the point of it. But he's Dalid. So he introduces, uh, the, the, adds to this, that Makif HaKorev is Makif is Er Yoshar, and Makif HaChoyze, and Makif HaRochek is Er Choyze, which is we just said, that the, that the Etzem brings you into his world. Same between the Rebbe and the Mashpia. <laughs> Mashpia, somebody else who, who is Mashpia. To whatever degree. But a Rebbe is not a Mashpia. A Rebbe is in the Shama Kala, is in Atzmi and, and unlocks and brings you into his Atzmi's Dika world, meaning unlocking within the, the, the Yid his own, his own Yechida, his own Atzmi. Okay, so Makif Akorov Chai is Giloy Makif Achayze is Chayze of Eilab Atzimusa. So these are the two levels of within Kesser, Atik and Arich. Arich is Makif Akorov, Shaykhte Zo. Atik is netak or moved all, that's what it means, remove the etzim. Likewise, in the early Fnei Atzim there's the two levels, the Spashtus Oyer and the etzim Oyer, the same model again. This is the Oyer that we learn in Pasha Bereshis, the beginning they used to create and then separate it for himself, that's the etzim Oyer. Now, with me, we're looking at the, the second paragraph of Eizdalit. There's a whole arichas here. I'm not really explaining so much, I'm just putting it all together. Hopefully the explanations we gave as we learned it, but I am trying to explain so that it is understood. So I'm trying to do both. So now he's going to contrast three things. A revelation of an Oypnimi, which means a, a revelation of a higher level to a lower level within the system. One model. Second model, a revelation of Makif. And finally, in contrast to the end, Oyratzmi. That's, that's what this critical paragraph here is. And he says... So Oypnimi, an integrated relationship. So what happens the higher level? What happened, has to happen to the higher level? B'miyut and b'slav shus b'hela. The chokhmah bina. Just the koyach achreina of chokhmah, the residual level of chokhmah, the hanacha remains, and now bina kicks in. It's a whole different world. But bina is born from chokhmah in the process. But chokhmah has to recede. Miut. Number one, it's invested in the lower one. 
If the Nakudas HaChacham is not invested in the Bina, then the Bina will go all over the place and completely corrupt the idea. You'll, you'll end up uh, uh, elsewhere completely from the original concept. So it's milt, it's in mislabish and concealed in it. Concealed in the, in the person's engaged in the Bina process, the seeing of Chachma is completely concealed. That's the model of what? Pnimis. Ashba Pnimis. Gilevay Makiv is ready by Oir, and it's not Bislapshus. Like the story again of uh, Daniel, or Rotson, the parallel is Rotson. It overwhelms, overpowers. Nonetheless, that's still only a ha'ara of that koyach, and that's called mazl. Went into the whole steer over here. If you want to have a look, the Yuvan's uh, it's is dalit a few lines down. He has to steer it. But sometimes we find that avo chacham bina. Here's the statement: avo chacham bina. It gets its nourishment from mazl. Level of mazel are the levels of giving you give him midas rachman by from klali. Chachma is from noitzer and bina is from venake. Okay. Bottom line, we need to know here that chacham and bina get their nourishment from what level? The level of mazel. Sometimes we find that chacham another lush. Chacham and bina so embrace the arms of arich, which is not a, a that's that's a. He starts from saying, you would think, and then it comes out not that way. You would think if he the, the scribe and Chochum Bina get from Mazel, that's lower than the, than the Zerayas of Arach, the arms of Arach, as it were. Because Mazel is only a drip. So it drips down. Sidus. Like hairs that, that, that come from the Mayach, but through the, through the, the, the skull that, that's Mavsik. But when you embrace something, you embrace the essence. So that would be higher. But, but the, what's the end? The slabshus at Chachman Binda is mislabish. That is the lower level of, that's al derech, the pnimis dike level, the level of arich, we're talking arich here, but the level of arich that could be nimshech and the pnimis. And what it says that it's yonik from mazel, that's the makif. That's the makif akorder. That's the transcendent level. And that's only a, a order. It's begiloy, but it's only a order. Riboy oy, but it's a order. There's a whole idea there. So now, in order to have the so, there's two levels, two relationships that Chacham Bina has with Arif. The lower level of Arif is nislabish the pnimius of the helen. That's the embrace. That's the oy pnimi component of Arif. And then there's the transcendent level of Arich, which is Mazel, Cyrus, Riboy Oir, not the Slabish. And it's from there that they truly can become one in, this, in the face of this transcendent level and even have the Koyach to be to give birth. That's how deeply they are united and how deeply it unlocks their source. But that's still the end, all falls short of the Gilead, which is Atik. This is all to make it easier for us. I just added a whole lot of more detail. It, it can make, perhaps make it more complicated. Do we understand the model? We got the model. So what are the three things here? The low level of Arich, Oipnimi, which is drawn into Chachman Bina. That's the lotion we find in Kabbalah that, that Chachman Bina embrace Arich. Take into Oipnimius. The statement that Chochem Bina's relationship to Arich is only Mazel, that's the, that's the Makif Akkad, the transcendent level of Arich. Then this Attic, it's still the level of, level of not Etzim, it's Makif, it's Giloy. Giloy in a Pnimi, it's Giloy in a Makif Dikaway. All Eir Yosher, all part of the Eir Yosher model. So all the contrast, Ma'atik is revealed, Ma'akif Arachik, Echoizer, the Etzim is revealed, and that's a whole different relationship. Now, when we learned this, a Lachor, it comes out, because based on, since Elsmech said this, that bias is home, is Ma'akif Arachik, that's the Etzim. 
so what's the whole point? The whole point of the home is that everybody, the soulmates, live there as one. So it comes out, and it's true, not I don't know, but this is what we would conclude that it's Ishva Isha, yeah, united so so uh, deeply that they get, have a child. That's such an example of one plus one equals one. Yeah, one and one, and they produce one. And moreover, the child is bedoimaloi. The child comes from the very deep, essential part of the parents, which is why the child can even be more talented than the parent, because he, their latent, undeveloped chushim can be developed in the child. That still, fall, that still falls short. That yichud. That yichud still falls short of the yichud that is expressed in the home period. The etzim de kibayis. Vula Yeshleim, as I'm talking about it. How do we see this? Because that yichud only happens in a particular context, obviously. And there's the cheder, there's the cheder hamitis. That's the Kedush HaKadoshim, where it happens. But the bias, and it is a yichud of, the, of, of them and, and the family, and the, the ones that dwell there, in every prat and detail of the bias. Not limited to a particular prat, it's not that this detail is them, but this detail is nothing other but them. Then it embraces them in every in everything, the kitchen, the, the, the living room, and all of the engagements. It's a yichud atzmi, so it's a deeper, it's a deeper yichud than even the ultimate yichud in kedush hakadoshim. Ula yesh It comes out from here. That the biyichud the the of of the uh, atik is deeper even than than the gilu or says of mazel of of arich which causes the yichud and the wonders he says that just a contrast again the oip nimi the low level of arich which is part of the system doesn't cause chacham bina to unite it, each one is nourished independently. There's Chachman and there's Binna and they're, they're partners. Chachman does its thing, gives way to Binna, Binna kicks in. There's no Yichud there. Yichud of Chachman Binna is only in the face of a transcendent Giloi. That's the Makifar Akarev of Arif. And that, and that causes Heiloda, incredible unity. Still not the Atzmizdiki connection. Maybe you can say this even further that, that what this means is that the true oneness. Again, husband and wife, that's at manifest. Ishvi Isha, Abba Ve'ima, is in the smallest interactions, the most nuanced of interactions, which for the viewer, is, nothing happened there. Nothing actually did happen. But it's just an expression of an essential connection. It's even greater than the Yichod and so on. And we can all appreciate that. That's the stuff of uh, of a true relationship is in the in the the gesture, the small small little things. It's not that this gesture is the relationship. It's a nothing gesture. It's nothing, but it's nothing other than the relationship. So that's what that's what that means. The prat is not the etzim, but the prat is nothing than the, other than the etzim. Doesn't encapsulate the etzim, but it is nothing other than the etzim. Again, it's a home. There's a million details in the home. All of them are nothing other than the home. An expression of them. Okay, let's continue. Somewhat clear. Yeah? David will put them in. You're hiding right. Are you, are you there? A thumbs up, a thumbs down. Give me some. Of course, I'm here, Rabbi. A little bit, huh? Of course, I'm here. You're there. Good. You, you, following this little, yeah? Yes, sir. Good. Okay, so now in the next paragraph, as we told you, the, 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 the ones that wrote down the, the Maimir had many questions, and the Rebbe answered with considerable notes, which they incorporated in the, in the, in the, in the text, not as numbered footnotes, but as olive and base. That's indicative that the Rebbe wrote these things. They're very subtle in Yonim, 
So let's try and quickly look at this. We're not going to finish Chazara today, but I think this is worth, this exercise is worthwhile, no? It's not a, not a replacement for Chazor, actually, to learn it yourself. You're all very busy, I know. It's hard to find the time. At any rate, let's continue. So that's a chili between Medalag and Mekapitz. Medalag, again, skipping is one for the whole etzim is not moved. This is similar, similar, but the footnote he says not exactly, similar to Ava Chachman Bina getting from Mazel. Now, what do he add in Aleph? Not exactly the same. Avaloi mamish. Why? Because in what Ava gets, Chachman Bina, let's just the most of Chachman Bina gets from Arich Makif Akarov is only Yaha Oda. Only a out of it. Here, medalik is a riboy oil. It's a lot of, it's a tremendous revelation. Not unique, this drop stripping down. And moreover, there the marshal gashmi, the physical body is a hair, muzzle. Here we're talking about the regal is moved. So it's not exactly the same. Okay, you have to understand exactly the parallel. And not the parallel. At any rate, that's just a fact. Similar, but not exactly. So, but way from Chloe to say minion. What's the same minion? That medalig means it's a transcendent giloy, but it's not the etzem. It's like getting from the level of mazel. It's makif akodif. Whereas makapitz jumping with both feet, so the whole etzem is 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 moved. And drawn. Nimshe b'cholatz mostly. Now, when the order base was a, a whole, a very deeper order, and the question is, but the whole etzim is moved. But what causes the etzim to move is the regal. So we're locked back into a into a into a prat into manifestation. And so here the question: It just would the model should be more like the the. The body is moving itself, but no, it's the gregor that's making it move. So it's not mamish the etze. It was, so he says, it was a whole adiches, and this will be the whole subject of etze and giloy that here we're talking about an aver which where in which we see the etze. It's on the aver, but you see the etze in it. And that's the thing in the Bashem Tezvar that. Let's address this again just very briefly. A statement of the Baal Shem Tev. Essence, when you grasp even a little bit of it, you're grasping all of it. What does this mean? If we're not talking at Sem, now we'll begin, again, the marshal of that, then we'll apply it to house. You're not looking at something at the atomic level. You're looking at external manifestations. So again, our classic example of the apple. If we're talking the color of the apple, that's one world. Color and taste have nothing to do with each other. And color is a, a specific thing that, that, that color it shares with a million other things. If I tell you I'm holding something red, you have no idea what this is. What, what is the essence of what you're holding? Here we're in our, an essence here, relative essence, apple. Apple is relative essence, all relative. It's not ultimate essence. Only A.B. says ultimate essence, but relative. So I tell you red, I tell you sweet, I tell you round, to give you enough details, you might, you might uh, put it together. But the detail itself per se doesn't tell you anything. That's if you're relating it to the detail. But if you're relating, if your starting point is the etzim, apple. So whatever you're considering now, that you're savoring the taste, whatever, the whole etzim is there. Even if right now you're relating to describing a detail, but if the context of it is apple or bigger, better example, atoms, then the whole atom is in this detail as, as it is in its own pure intrinsic state. You follow the difference. I mean, another example. 
Rel it's all relative examples. There's two ways in, in psychology, and, and there, in, in healing and everything. There's, there's holistic healing, then there's the details. There's not the kind of healing just deals with this problem. It's this illness, it's this part of the body, and we're giving this uh, medication, whatever it is. So there, you're not safe as the Edson. The doctor is dealing with, he's a, he's a, he's a dentist, he's a my doctor, this doctor, that, and that's it. He's dealing, dealing with this isolated limb. Then there's a holistic kind of healing, which you're looking at the person's totality. That, that's what we're dealing with. Now, there's a problem with the finger. So he's giving a medication for the finger. So it's a, a specific medication. It's mixed us. But your tape is the whole etzer. And, and, and the whole healing is, is actually uh, the whole, this is the whole uh, theory of, uh, what is it? That healing that gives tiny drops, what's it called? Homeopathy. Homeopathy. And, you, and the whole theory is the smaller, the more diluted, the more effective because we want to get to the etzer of the person not bound by these seudium. So you want to get to the core, which is devoid of, 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 of a particular seer. That's the whole theory behind it. So that kind of healing is, even if we're dealing with a specific problem, we're dealing with a whole person in totality. And we're telling it's the whole person. No matter what detail we, we're talking about, the whole context is the person. That's the Vatav Hashem, the Etzem. If you're dealing with Etzem, even if your type is been mixed, you can deal with the smallest prat. But the whole Etzem is there, as it is in the big prat, in the big picture, and then every we clear, kind of. So that's what he's answering in the heart over here. And even though it's here is, is, it's, he's, Mekapit is with the legs, the starting point is the leg. The whole point here is, is the Etzem, which in the martial here is the body, the body of the person, so why are we talking about a particular Ava? Because this is in the context of the, the, the regal being nothing other than the expression of the body, then it lifts the whole body. But if you're going to isolate the leg alone in the Hanami, this is not going to affect the rest of the body as it were. This is kind of what he's saying. This is the Rebbe's order here in those base. He said, the end, al derech neshome shelikus shenase neshome. On the one hand, the neshama becomes an individual neshama, but its etzem remains forever. Elikus. Okay. Uy. All right. So we'll continue tomorrow.